Following their vacation to the Vegas Strip with Patrick and Brittany Mahomes last week, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are reportedly planning to attend the Miami Grand Prix this weekend. Swift's second leg of her era's tour will start in Paris in late May, and she will be performing in 14 European nations. She and Kelsey will enjoy this weekend's Miami Grand Prix at Hard Rock Stadium, though, as reported by the US Sun. Travis notices that Taylor is developing a strong interest in sports, and he is eager to take her there because she wants to learn more about his passions and spend time with his close friends, Brittany and Patrick, an insider told the tabloid. Furthermore, Mahomes, the quarterback for Kelsey, and Alpine F1 team are minority investors. On Sunday, the Miami Grand Prix will begin at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Swift and Kelsey are said to have met Patrick and Brittany for drinks along the Las Vegas Strip prior to their journey to the race. Mahomes, Swift, and Kelsey reportedly had a drink at Easy's Cocktail Lounge at the Aria Resort and Casino, according to an insider. Additionally, during the course of the weekend, Swift and Kelsey raised funds for the 15 and the Mahomes charity, which supports children's life. In a video posted on X by another visitor, Kelsey and Swift were seen coming to the charity dinner together. They were spotted holding hands as they walked past other guests to join the Mahomeses at a table. According to one of the auctioneer's Instagram stories, Swift's live concert tickets were eventually put up for sale for $80,000. Swift was unable to be seen on the evening that Kelsey went to the crowded XS nightclub to join Norwegian DJ Kygo behind the decks at his Vegas party, just hours after the couple attended the charity auction event together. Despite signing a two-year contract extension with the Chiefs on Monday, Kelsey is exempt from attending any off-season activities until at least May 20. With the reportedly $17.1 million yearly contract, he will be paid more than any other tight end in the NFL.